children of God, you are to remain focused out here on this battlefield. Father and I, we have very good uh, insight, as you know, Father does, you know, and um, from the angle that we are at and where we are located on the field, we I put it like that, you know, Father sees all, knows all, you know, he's omnipresent. But I want you to know that I, I also see. I don't know everything. I'm not omnipresent, of course not. I'm not Father. But I'm just saying that, you know, when you walk with the light, you see. That's what I'm trying to say. Maybe I'm not wording it exactly how I would like to. But when you walk with Father, you see. Okay? And um, what you all need to do is you need to find your location on the battlefield and you need to stay there with father and no matter what comes your way no matter what satan is out there doing his minions from that location on the battlefield you see it all okay and that's what the enemy doesn't want you to do he doesn't want you to see you know he doesn't want you to see he wants you blind and you're not and that's what he hates okay um there are some filthy dreamers out there there are people that, uh, you know, their minds, they let their minds go gutter, you know, even as far as it pertains to uh, sex and things of that nature, they let their minds go gutter, you know, they, um, they're projectors so that whatever they do sexually in their promiscuous lives, they will speak lies on the children of God and they will say, oh, well, the children of God are doing that when we are not. Okay. We see you Satan we see you we see you and we hear you okay we see how you are either manipulating other people or you are using those people you know because a lot of people out there are being manipulated by the devil and they don't even know it so anytime that you hear something that is you know very filthy very sexually perverted um, about the children of God that is what those individuals are engaged in and they are projecting who they are unto the children of God and then want to try to present themselves in the light of the children of God. So basically what they're doing, they want to change costumes, okay? Because they want you to look bad, they want themselves to look good, and it's not going to work. You know, and from my location on the battlefield, you know, with Father, you know, we are behind the scenes, you know, and we see. That's why anytime that Father gives me something, I'll put it out to you guys, you know, because a lot of people out there, it's not to say that Father doesn't give them things, but maybe he doesn't give them the particular things he's given to me. And so I give them to you. And then some of you out there can say, oh, yeah, you know, that's what's going on around me, too. Or that's what I see going on around my friends. Or that's what you see going on around somebody, you know, that you may be married to. Or somebody you may be in a relationship with or, you know, a, a situationship, whatever your situation is. Sometimes all it takes is that when somebody speaking on something and that will bring you out of your um, little um, corner in the field and you'll say, now I can stand because now, you know, I didn't know how to address the situation, but this person over here got a mouth and they're going to speak on it. And so now I'm going to stand on what they just said, because what they just said, I can resonate with that. You know, it resonates in my spirit, you know. So anyway. I know I got a little dramatic there, but I'm excited. You know why I'm excited? Because the children of God, we win. And I just feel the spirit of the Lord right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Ain't it good to know Jesus? Ain't it good to know that there's somebody down here that is the rock, the sword, and the shield, my brothers and my sisters. Come on and bless his holy name. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.